uh, April 2nd, about 2 p.m. This is 2752 Panorama Heights. So you can see coming into the entry where there's quite a bit of water. Carpet's drenched, about an inch of water throughout the hard surfaces. When we got here, there was almost two inches of water was flowing out of the front door. Do you know what the source is? Yeah, the water valves were on. On, okay. So vandalizing. Yeah. Soaking wet throughout the carpet, hall bathroom, master closet. The entire home is covered in water. The uh, property manager stated that when he came in, he found the water valves were wide open. And that is here. Oh yeah, here in the um, laundry room, which is off the kitchen. And start extraction. Okay, so we have initial stabilization done here on Extracted. We used weighted extraction and then a, 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 a wand to get the majority of the water as much as we could out of the carpet. We're setting up a nice vortex drying system in here. In the kitchen, I came up with the uh, necessity for 176 pints per day. So we're running two LGRs that run 149 pints per day. You can see the wall here where the water was uh, running. The, uh, the spigots, it's all buckled. So we got plenty of air movement in the kitchen. We extracted the hard surfaces. We got some air on the cutouts. Here in the bedroom, the hall bedroom we're calling it. Got some nice air movement. You can see the carpet's a lot nicer. It's extracted well, same as everywhere else. Moved out the furniture. Have air moving in the hall. In the bathrooms, we have some air moving. We're going to do some demolition, pull out the vanities to make sure that we get dry. Behind those, here in the master bedroom, we also have an LGR running. Good extraction in the master bedroom. So we'll let the machines run, do some demolition, probably on the exterior walls. We'll check the dry down tomorrow after the machines have had some time to work and uh, we'll, we'll uh, give you another look at it then. Master closet, that's it. Okay, so we've gotten the majority of the demo done now. You can see here in the uh, living room, all of the walls were wet in here. These are all exterior walls, less this wall, which borders the kitchen. So rather than, uh, cut both areas. I cut this one and part of the wall in the kitchen I left in place. Into the kitchen, the exterior walls had a lot of bond water. The uh, cabinetry that was here, there was a full-size cabinet right there and uh, regular cabinetry like this. The water had us uh, destroyed that particle board to a point and it was glued in to a point that uh, it was unsalvageable. So I kept this cabinet, well, I guess in these cabinets as well, for a, a reference point as to like kind and quality. Over here in the um, laundry room, it borders the master bedroom. There was a, just a tremendous amount of water, as you can see, in the uh, uh, drywall that didn't cut very well because of that. Then we'll go back into the master bedroom. The majority of these walls are interior. 
I feel like uh, we can get those dry without doing a lot of more cutting. This master closet, I'm going to check it tomorrow, make sure we have good dry down. It's upwards of 87% uh, today, like most of the walls throughout the, the house are. So exterior walls in the master bedroom, they're all cut. We pushed up the insulation. Once again, the, uh, the master closet right there, we're gonna try to dry all that in place. We'll check it tomorrow, might pull that uh, uh, trim up. This is the bathroom off the master and uh, tried to pull that cabinet out because those exterior walls were wet. Behind the tub, I'll show you that in a minute, We've got air moving. Rather than pull that tub out to get to the exterior wall, there wasn't any insulation, it doesn't look like, so we're just going to try getting some air moving back there rather than take a chance on destroying that tub. So this is the uh, final bedroom, and this is the other side of the tub. We've got air moving behind there. and. Uh, all exterior walls into the closet here. Uh, didn't cut the interior walls. Once again, we'll check those on uh, uh, when we come and do our monitor tomorrow. So it's it's Easter Sunday morning, and uh, we're at 2652 Panorama Heights. There were a couple of areas that uh, interior walls that like this one that we had to cut. There was a tremendous amount of water in here. And so now that we have uh, most everything else dry, um, decided it was time to remove the equipment. We're on the end of day three here. The exterior walls, as I showed you before, are all cut. Looks like the carpet may be okay. Uh, we need to clean it, steam clean it, deodorize it. Um, of course the kitchen. As before, we removed the cabinets uh, along that wall, and those will have to be replaced. Probably all the cabinets in here will have to be replaced. I'm not sure if there's any way to match these, but I suppose that's for somebody else to answer. Ground zero over here, where the majority of the water was, and of course I already showed that removed. It smells a lot better in here. There's only one issue left, and that's the, uh, the sewer gas that's still escaping as we get to the master bedroom here. The, um, the wall here behind the bathroom vanity and the tub that I removed so we could air move them back there. The exterior walls that had to be cut, they all had vapor barriers and were holding moisture. These two interior walls here, we finally made the decision to cut today because we couldn't get them to dry down. Once again, just a tremendous amount of water was able to wick. So that will dry out nicely now. Again, in this bathroom, the exterior walls were, uh, uh, were cut to ensure that we got that dried down because they were wet. And the vans is the master bedroom. All the exterior walls are cut. The only part, and this is just a uh, point of professionalism on my point, this is interior wall. So I have uh, removed all of my equipment with the exception of one dehumidifier. And um, I want to find out if I can dry these walls. So my billing has ceased at this point. We've done everything according to procedure, but I have left a dehumidifier in this master closet here because I believe that I can dry those walls without cutting them, and I want to prove it to myself. If not, I will come back on my own expense and not charge for this dehumidifier for the additional day because I want to know. That's the end of this uh, water job. We'll turn it over tomorrow to the, uh, to the uh, restoration crew and they'll be able to come in here and start doing the rebuild.